this is Naylor Ball and you're watching Sporting Icons. Right, so I just watched a very good fight between Kuzmin and David Price. Now, so okay, Kuzmin and Price for me, um, in the opening round at least anyway, um, it was pretty much a draw in the first round. Um, if you guys had it for Price or Kuzmin, you know what, that's absolutely fine. Uh, but round number two was a clear victory for David Price in that round. Um, he was hitting Kuzmin with a more meaningful shot, but Kuzmin was doing very, very well with the body shots. And he was clipping Price on a couple of occasions. And I kept like almost shouting at the TV, telling Price to move his damn feet. Because for whatever reason, he would just put his hands up to his head and stand there and take the body shots and take some um, hooks, which uh, just go in on the inside of the glove. And I'm thinking one of these is going to catch him at some point. Really is. But you know what? Price did pretty well in this fight. Um, round number three, again, that was a close round, it really was. But David Price was unloading on Kuzmin on a couple of occasions in this one where he just went, you know what, let's just go for it. And he was throwing some big, big bombs. And pretty much the same with round number four as well. I thought Price um, almost got Kuzmin out of there in round number four because it seemed that uh, Price landed a very, very decent shot and Kuzmin wobbled a little bit, but then grabbed on. But Price was grabbing a lot on this one, and it looks like um, at the end of round number four, David Price didn't come out the corner. The, uh, his team stopped him. He's hurt his right bicep. By the looks of it on TV, he's holding it. So he couldn't continue anymore. But you know what? David Price did well on this one. Um, he, he's got no shame at all, and he was starting to tire a little bit about halfway through round number three, so I'm not too sure how much longer he could have really went. Um, but... I think had the fight when another couple of rounds, I think Price may have got him out of there, potentially. But I'm certainly worried about David Price's footwork. Um, he seems very, very rigid that he's just going to stand there and take some shots, which is ridiculous. You don't do that at heavyweight, right? But anyway, uh, so Kuzmin wins this one by technical knockout because uh, David Price had to retire um, in the corner there. Um, as to what's going to happen now, is it career over? Well, I don't know. Listen, he didn't get knocked out, which is one good thing. And he took quite a few good shots as well. Needless shots, though. This is my problem. Needless shots is what David Price took. But Kuzmin is solid. He's tough. And he took some very, very good shots himself. And flush on the chin. And uh, Price hit him with um, a couple of good uppercuts as well. And that almost seemed to be the strategy for David Price. That he wanted to like, lull him in so he can catch him with an uppercut. But, hey, listen. David Price did well in this fight. He wasn't supposed to win this fight. I think for a lot of people, for those um, of you who've seen Kuzmin, would say that he was probably going to knock out um, David Price. But you know what? Unfortunately for him, um, it's his um, it, I don't know, it's his left or his right. I'm not too sure what it is. Is it his shoulder or his bicep? I'm not too sure. But either way, David Price couldn't continue. So congratulations to Sergei Kuzmin. And David Price did himself no shame in this one whatsoever. So anyway... Drop your thoughts below, click that thumbs up and subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.